Hey everyone, today we're going to be seeing if negative X can actually burn when it's as cold as liquid nitrogen. Whoa. If you've watched my channel, you're probably aware that there's some chemicals that if you put water on them, it doesn't put out a fire, but it starts them on fire. One of the most well-known ones is sodium metal. The sodium metal reacts with the water to form hydrogen <laughs> gas that catches on fire and explodes. Another cool one is calcium carbide that forms a settling gas when it mixes with water. With both the sodium and the calcium carbide, they're forming flammable gases, and those gases are the things that catch on fire. But with negative X, there's not a flammable gas that's formed, but the reaction with the water just generates a ton of heat. So I have here some powdered zinc metal. Now zinc can react with oxygen in the air to form zinc oxide in an extremely exothermic reaction that lets off a lot of heat but it doesn't do it under regular conditions. Now you can help out the oxidation of zinc when you add another oxidizer like ammonium nitrate. So I have some ammonium nitrate here and I can mix it with the zinc. But you can see that it's still not really doing anything. That's because the ammonium nitrate and the zinc aren't really coming into good contact with each other. But when you add water to this, it makes it so that ions form, zinc ions and ammonia ions, and the atoms and molecules can all bump into each other now. So when you just add a little water to this, you can get an oxidation of zinc, and it releases a lot of heat. So you can see in this case, we got a lot of steam and other gases coming off of this, but there wasn't really any fire happening, no real explosion. So it looks like with the water in there, we were able to get it hot enough to decompose the ammonium nitrate, but it didn't really oxidize the zinc that much. You can tell that there wasn't much zinc oxidation because there wasn't a lot of white color. It was still dark gray colored. But now let's see what happens when we add a catalyst to this. In this case, I'm using ammonium chloride. You can also use regular NaCl table salt for this as well. Now that I've added the catalyst, it's extremely unstable. This is now the negative X mixture. It only needs a little bit of water to ignite. Even a little bit of moisture from the air can trigger it. So you should never store negative X and never keep it in large quantities around each other. Okay, let's add a drop of water and see how well this mixture turned out. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is awesome. <laughs> okay, let's see what happens if I breathe on it. But if one little drop comes out of your mouth. Hoo <laughs> So compared to the original reaction, it was much faster just by adding a little bit of ammonium chloride. <laughs> so we know that we need water to start this reaction happening. But what happens if that water is also in the solid form, like ice? Well, to test that out, I'm going to be pouring liquid nitrogen over this entire mixture, getting it really cold and then pouring water on it and seeing if it can react. So you can see that it's not reacting here. That's because it's not able to dissolve all these molecules into their ionic form, so they can't actually bump into each other any better than they can when they're regular solids. Nothing. But then once it heats up a little, it'll start to melt, and then it goes. So we need that liquid water. Oh, it's going. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so first I'm gonna put this down and put some liquid nitrogen on it. Now I'm not gonna put any water on it now. I'm gonna see if it can just absorb the water from the air. Okay, the frost is forming on it. So surprisingly, this isn't reacting yet. The ice is even starting to evaporate off the top and it didn't light on fire yet. It looks like there was no liquid that formed. The ice just turned right back to a gas, so it's sublimated. Now, as soon as we add some liquid. Whoa. <laughs> so it still had to warm up a considerable amount before it started. And before we end, I'd like to thank Exter for sponsoring this video. Exter makes really cool minimalist wallets that are super classy and elegant looking, but also really cool. 
They have this really cool mechanism in them that fans out your cards so you can see them all when you push this button here. They can hold up to 15 cards. And then it has these places that you can hold cash as well. Their wallets are really secure and offer RFID protection. They're made from really nice looking leather and have many different options to choose from, different colors and styles. They also sell a bunch of other cool accessories like laptop cases and phone cases. Also, I'm always losing my wallet, so this is a really nice feature. This is a card-shaped tracker that can go in your wallet, and so you can track your wallet anytime you need and play a little sound on it. Really cool. There it is. And also, these wallets will make a really good Father's Day gift as well. Right now, you can get a really special deal on these wallets if you go to shop.exter.com slash the Action Lab or click the link in my description. They're having a really good Father's Day sale as well. So head there now to get your amazing Exter wallet. And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, or you can hit the bell to be notified when my latest video comes out. And also check out theactionlab.com where I sell my Action Lab experiment boxes. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.